Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And first off, like yesterday, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support. So yesterday in the beginning, I kind of made a comment saying, like, you know, how much everything, all the support helps and stuff. And I, I was telling you guys how, like, literally, if you guys all drop the sub right now, everyone viewing this, just drop the sub, you could turn me from a aspiring YouTuber into a more established one overnight. Like, it's that quick. Like, you guys, like, you guys your support creates youtubers like as much as we want to say like we did all the work like it's also you guys so like those guys who are all big wouldn't be there if you guys had never dropped the sub or you guys didn't like or comment or view so i'm just letting you guys know like if you guys could do that again that was awesome so yesterday i said this and you guys got me like almost 25 subs that was pretty that was unreal i've almost had 25 subs in 24 hours which is crazy considering i'm still new like most people get like a sub every day or so so, like, that was amazing, and if you guys could also do that again, remember, like, I'm at, like, 285 right now. If you guys all keep dropping the sub every day that I watch every single video that drops a sub that watches this video, in a week we'll be at 1,000. Like, it's that quick if you guys can keep doing this. Like, that's crazy. You guys could literally change my path and put me onto a quicker path and put me onto an established one and let me and keep giving this channel more help and more support that I could keep putting right back into it. So, that's it. Thank you guys so much. Let me get into this video. For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 15% off. Okay, so for today's sniping filters, I have a few a few pretty good ideas that I wish I could be doing because this would obviously make me coins, but I'm broke right now. I just got the new Odell, the new Vernon Davis. I got some training points to power up everything. So, like, I just went through a million coins in about five seconds. So, for you guys, though, so here's two things. So, first off, in about 30 minutes, by the time you guys probably even see this video, just about... The new combine players would have just dropped. So what you're going to want to do is, the new combine players, if they get pulled very fast, you're going to want to sit on this block and try to snipe them because they'll probably be like 480, 460, 450. They'll start going down. If you can get the for around 420, about 420, you buy, you'll make a profit just selling them. Or a secondary idea is you snipe them for around 420, and then you quick sell them for more scouts. And you use those scouts to do the 32,000 um set that you roll for an auctionable one and then what you do is if you get one of these guys you still just sell them for 480 it's barely anything it's like you still make some coins if not it just breaks even or you can pull djax or you can pull odell or any of these other guys over here like telvin smith i don't know where if he's up here too but do, do you guys understand the concept like if you guys do that you have a chance of getting odell djax telvin smith and you could probably make like 60k or you just sell the 421 you got and you put it up for 480 and then you just make like 20k. So like up to you guys. Obviously this one's a safer bet. The other one's like if you get the one the other one you probably lost like 800 scouts, which is like 30 to like that and even like 20k. So like you know it all it all really depends on what you guys feel and where you where you sit with your team and scouts. Now another way to do this is just you sit there and you keep sniping them and you wait till tonight and you resell for like maybe 500k because when they do first come out they will be go they will drop rapidly or you just or you just do this you sit here like this and you keep doing all but on the new ones make sure you filter the, I don't know what the new ones are going to be yet I haven't seen it on Mutt leaks or anything so just filter them out like right there that's a good price just if you want to keep but obviously that'll be gone in a few seconds for Daniel Hunter but um so what you're going to do is you want to sit there, look for one for 410, 420, just keep going all, 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 and see if you can try to filter it around the new ones that come out. Like, if, they, if they're linemen, you're out, I would say maybe go all offense or click specifically on them, but they're going to be coming out fast. So when people when things come out fast like that, brand new, hot off the hot off the market, it's going to go, and it's gonna, there's going to be mistakes. There's going to be one for 250, probably 250 coins. There's going to be one for 100K. You might not even see it. Someone might get it that fast. So just be on top of it. The best time to snipe is always when the new content first drops. It always is. So just stay on top of that. Now, what you could also do with all these, like I always say, is wait till night. Like I just said before, you're going to want to keep them. Wait till night. And you always sell them overnight. Back in the older Madden, when you said when there wasn't power-ups, and I always had a team ready to be auctioned. You guys probably do. I just don't. What you do is you buy your team, you play with them, whatever, and overnight you sell them for, like, double the price. So, like, let's say you – not double, obviously. But let's say you bought um Daniel Hunter. Let's say he was a 94 overall. You got him for 100K, right? Every night before you go to bed for school or work or whatever, you put them up for 150k for seven hours. You put your remote down, you go to bed, you go to work, you come back the next day. Oh damn! Overnight there wasn't that many Daniel Hunters up, and there was someone impatient who had a lot of coins who just wanted the card down out now, and they buy your Daniel Hunter. Happened all. I would go to bed with a 300k team, put it up for about 600k. It would all sell, and after the reduction, have like 530. That's how I made a lot of my coins. So just keep in mind that's a really great tip. 
Let me go down also for you guys because obviously you guys all can't afford um, that exact price. So these these 92s, if you can, when the new ones come out, they'll probably like yesterday when the new ones were out, they were down to 75k. So if you want to, what you're going to do is when the new ones come out, be on top of it. See if you can find one for about 72k, 75k. Buy it. You sell it for about 99k, or you save it to later, but just order sell it now 99k. Don't sell it for the price they're going for. You wait, sell it, put it up for 100. It will sell, and that will get you. That will net you about. 15k give or take so if you can get like four or five of these you could make about 100k it's really cheap really easy method to make close to 100k on all of them very simple now i'm gonna keep going down to the 9091s so these i'll never understand why these cards are literally almost the same price because something's really messed up about these the 92s are definitely the better value but if you can snipe these out these are necessary for the set so again they will retain value for now if you can get these get these around like 65 70k and then again, you'll net a profit of about 15 k. Um, I personally like this on Joku. If you got him, I'd probably keep him. I really like him. Like as a, a for you're some people's first tight end, even a backup tight end. Let's see this this car. This player will be used in the combine. You're gonna need all of them. Wow. If, it, if the way this is saying is that you're gonna need like all, every single car that came out into that set, it's gonna be so expensive. I always love the combine promo. Always have. Always get a Vernon Davis. Always get an Odell. Always a fun time. Now, 88s, 89s. Mike Jasicki, lowest one, 19K. If you're going to snipe these out, you're going to want these for about 13K. Because if you get them for 17K, you make no coins just about. If you get these for 15K, you make like 2K. 2K is not that useful. But 13K, you're making 4 to 5K. You can get five of these, that's 25K. It, it adds up very fast. And these are the quicker ones to get because they're obviously 88s, 89s. Now, you're obviously going to want to filter these out because if you don't filter these out, you're not going to see the new ones. So, again, I don't know what the new ones are going to be. So, let's say the new one's a, a quarterback all offense. Nope, still not showing up. So you're going to want to do cap value. So you're going to want to find out what their cap value is and try to match that. So usually a quarterback like that, if it was a quarterback, would be like 41 to 50. You cap value that out. It's still too small. Wow. Okay, so you're okay. So pretty much I can't help with this part. That's going to be all on you guys to understand how that works because when the new, if it's a quarterback, let's say it's a Joe Flacco, which it obviously won't be. He's not a combine guy. But if it's a Joe Flacco, you go to a team – Ravens, and you have to filter it out yourself because I obviously can't because I don't know what's going to be yet. But again, they're useful. Don't forget to always filter. If, you, if that bar on the right side of the screen, see that scroll bar, if that thing is that small, that means that the page is overloaded and you're not seeing the new things. Like right now, obviously, there's a 59 um, minute one, but like maybe the next one that goes up for 150 coins, you won't see. So just always be on top of that. Make sure that the bar is at least slightly bigger so that you know it's showing. Or another way to test would be going to newest. And seeing if there's a 59 minute one there or anything, but there's not, so it looks like these are clearly over overdue. Over there's too many in here. Okay, so let's go to the 86. So for these, you're gonna want these for these are a little overpriced right now, actually. These were about like okay, there's not a lower one, right? Because these were about no, yeah, those were about like 12k two days ago. These are rising up fast. If you can get these for about 12 to 13k, take them now, sell them later when they're needed in sets. But yeah, no, these are these are expensive right now. I don't even know if I'd snipe these. These might be a little risky because these should be going for about 13k. So it might even go back down and then you're gonna lose your investment. But yeah, I probably wouldn't touch these too much unless you find them for like eleven or ten. But again, when the new cards come out, if you just stay on all those cards for every like these are like let's say you're these are like your tax brackets. If you have enough money to be here, you sit here. If you have enough money to sit here, you sit in this spot. If you have more money, you sit in this spot. And again, the 90s, 92, same thing, they're all for the same price. Now, if you're high rolling, you know, you got a lot of coins, you sit here. So, like, it, it all depends on where you can be. So, you can't really, I, like, all those aren't for everyone. That's for where, th this is all for specifics. Like, I just covered the mass majority of people. Now, if you have, like, one coin, I mean, I'm sorry. You're going to have to go do your solos. But as far as most teams go, you will fall into one of these brackets. The best one probably being this one because, I, I mean, the best one for a big, big hit, like, if you get this for 300, you probably this one. But the most consistent one that will probably net you the biggest consistent gains will be this one because you can get these for like 70k 65k throw them on 15k 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 which can add up to 100k very fast so like this is the most consistent one because there's no reduction these cards sell quicker you know but these are these are really good i prefer these just for myself it's a little quick you know less sitting just got to get one big pull and you're done but i kind of wish i saw this telvin smith telvin smith looks nice but i gotta stay strong keep my lawrence taylor and just wait for the new one all right, so that's about it for the sniping videos. Uh, I'll probably be making some more coin methods today. I'm just there's not many right now at the moment, 
at this point in Madden, like obviously these reroll sets are probably done. Those are patched, you know, those don't work as well anymore. So the reroll sets are shot. Again, I highly recommend this pack right here. Maybe I'll make a video just about this set alone separately. But um it's for another video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying my content. I really do. I mean the support's been tremendous. The comments, the DMs, the likes, the views, the subs, everything's been amazing. So I'm just I'm taking that as you guys have been enjoying it. So uh, if you do, if you like this video, you've been making coins off my video, nothing makes me happier than when someone comments down below and lets me know that I just made them 50 to 100k. I love that. It makes me happy. So if you guys have been enjoying, drop the sub down below. Like I said, you guys could literally turn me from a low level to a relevant guy overnight. That's all on you guys. So if you guys have, just go drop the sub down below. It won't take any time out of your day, but it'll really help someone else. So thank you a lot. I'm out. See you guys later.